Saturday on the Love Boat. The Love Boat. I tried to make it a little <laughs> more lecherous than romantic, you know. Recognize the face? Probably not. But the voice? No. Lily is back. What is it you want? And she's after three men. Do you want to go to bed with me? Who wish she'd never been born. We, That's the, the voice of Ernie Anderson, better known as the voiceover king. An estimated 25 million viewers a day hear that voice on ABC and in numerous commercials. This is what they pay Ernie a lot of money to do. I walked into CBS one day and I spent seven minutes and I said, these historic moments have brought to you by Shell. And it played for two years. <laughs> Every night on, on CBS. Do you remember that? Uh-huh. <clears throat> and that's, that's one of my favorites because it was seven minutes work and two years pay. Uh, parquet margin from Kraft. The flavor says butter. Sometimes I don't even say the butter. But it's just parquet margin from Kraft. The flavor says butter. And uh, that's fine. That's mm. been playing for about five years. <laughs> Sound like a good job? You're right. A typical workday for Ernie might be a half-hour read in the morning, ABC promos at 12.30 for an hour or two, and then maybe one more commercial in the afternoon. But don't be fooled. He's not just talking. He's an actor. As I work, I direct myself. I don't just sit there and flap my mouth. But a strong portion of it is the voice, of course, you know. The fact that I can say winds of war, you know, <laughs> and, and, and rumble a little bit, that, that doesn't give me a knock, you know, that's an up. Ernie started as a DJ and by the mid-60s was doing local late-night TV in Cleveland. In 1967, he and Edwina moved to Los Angeles where Ernie began doing freelance announcing. Soon, ABC was using him for promos. Today, he's that network's primary voice He's in constant demand for commercials, and he has perhaps the most recognizable voice on TV. But Edwina keeps his feet planted firmly on the ground. Every time one of his promos comes on, he turns the television up. Which, Chuck, please, how much do we have to hear you? Oh, it's a bad mix. It's a bad mix. You can't hear me. I can hear enough of you. We can hear enough. Don't worry. <laughs> Ernie and Edwina have lived in this house for 17 years, and their personalities are very much in evidence. There's a life-size cow in the front yard. Uh, Mrs. Anderson is the cow lady. <laughs> I don't mean that. that she actually, she's very slim and trim. I don't mean but She likes cows. A soft sculpture made in the kitchen. Well, she occasionally will scare people because they think it's a lady <laughs> actually standing there. And the love boat out by the patio. A couple of years ago, this was the NBC... Uh, campaign to start their season with and uh, Danny Dark said we're gonna sink the love boat close but no cigar so far none of the kids have shown any interest in following dad into the business but that doesn't stop Ernie from using his working voice around the house so if he's being the great disciplinarian he'll just use a word and it'll go Paul and they go dad it, it's, it's ineffective, but he does try to use it. <laughs> well, when he gets mad at me, he goes, he goes, go to your room. <laughs> and sometimes he goes, Mama wants you. <laughs> there is one wonderful perk. When I'm really very angry and I'm driving along in the car and he comes on, I can reach over and turn him off, which I've done occasionally. <laughs> I go, and turn it off. That is a wonderful perk. It began with Lace, the story of an orphan girl who went from Princess of Porn to the Queen of the Silver Screen. To Lily. So, you'll be hearing uh, that voice for Lily a long back. time to come, if Ernie it? has his way. She's after three I'm having a real good time. I ain't leaving either. <laughs> Why would you leave this? This is fun. <laughs>